So I'm sure most of you know what a QR code is. It's a uh, small black and white code that you can point a camera at and it will actually resolve that code out and um, uh, generally save you the trouble of typing in a long URL. So I'll give you an example. Here we've got a Google Doc and as most Google Docs it's got a rather long URL. So you could take that URL there and copy it and you could go over to a URL shortening service like say uh, goo.girl if I go there You'll see this is a URL shortening service, and I can take that uh, long URL, paste it in there, click the blue button, and it will resolve it out to a short URL. In fact, if I just copy that short URL and go to a new page, and if I was to paste that in, then of course that short URL would resolve itself out to the long URL, and it would in fact take us right back to where we started at that original document. Well, that's all fine. What you may not know, though, is if you... Uh, take that short URL code, so there it is there, the goo.gull, and in this case it's pz7idy. If you go to the end of it and type in .qr, it in fact will create a QR code for you that will take you back to that original page. So that's just by adding .qr on the end. What I think is interesting though is if you were to click on this thing here and expand out the URL and actually look at what's going on here, so there's a service that Google runs on the Google APIs uh, site, chart.googleapis.com, and it can in fact generate this URL by referring the, uh, the, the URL to this service, which then resolves it out as a QR code. And if you look at some of the um, uh, modifiers that are in this URL, you've got things like CHS, which would be chart size, um, CHT, which would be chart type equals QR. So there's a bunch of modifiers. Now, you can actually use this technique in a spreadsheet. So let me just show you how that might work. So if I go in here and I just type in uh, a URL, say http colon slash slash dub 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 dot, let's try google.com. When I press enter, what it does is it draws the QR code right next to it, just like that. And in fact, let's just get rid of that and uh, let's go and find. Uh, a list of, uh, I think I've got some here, so say so here's a list of um, here's a list of URLs, so let me copy those and go back over to this example. If I was to paste that in there, it would paste down the page and boom, there are the URLs and each, uh, there are the QR codes and each QR code is then referring to a different URL. So how does that work? Well, what I'm doing is I'm taking the technique that we discovered over here in the Google Charts API and using it in the spreadsheet. And if you look at the code here, you'll see it's a rather long formula, but let me just expand it out for you. Let me just go to this next page uh, where the text is a little bigger. So this is the way it works. The formula is, is actually part of this equals image. So equal image will put an image into a cell, and what it will do is it will call up from the Google API's uh, charts API. Um, it'll, it'll generate a chart. CHS size, so the chart size is 150 by 150, the chart type is a QR code, and the chart location is equal to cell A1. And if you look back at our example, uh, in fact it's referring back to this cell A1, and as you go down the page it will be A2, A3, A4, and so on. So the formula in this cell is actually calling the API uh, from Google Charts and generating this thing based on whatever's in the cell next to it. So that's a really quick and easy way if you need to generate a whole lot of uh, API, a whole lot of QR codes in a hurry, you can simply use this formula. I know it's a bit long uh, and, and it will generate that for you. Uh, if you're wondering why there was nothing in there until I typed in the, uh, the formula, so I typed in the URL, uh, it's because I'm using a slightly more complex version of that that says if A1 is blank, then put nothing in the cell. Otherwise, put an image, pull the image from the Google Charts API and make it a QR code 150 by 150 and base it on the cell A1. There you go. That's how you do bulk QR codes.